Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Key to Disney and Fragrance. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel. We do mainly Bath and Body Works content with a sprinkle of Disney. But in today's video, we are celebrating Christmas in July. So throughout this week, this is Monday, so happy Monday. But also on Wednesday and Friday, you guys are going to be seeing some Christmas in July content. I was inspired by the magnificent and wonderful Bonnie from Queen of the Girl Geeks. She showed off some of her favorite Christmas scents that she wants back and Christmas body care to celebrate Christmas in July. So thank you to Bonnie for inspiring me. I will leave her amazing channel linked down in the description below. But to kick off Christmas in July, I'm going to be showing you my three wick Christmas collection and possibly my Christmas single wicks if I can get them out. Um, I have them in like my little dresser and I don't have them organized at all, but I do have my three wicks organized by season. So it was really easy for me to be able to pull out my three wicks. So this video might just be my three wicks or there might be a surprise of some single wicks at the end. But on Wednesday, you will probably see my Christmas Fine Fragrance Mist collection and Winter Fine Fragrance Mist. And then Friday, you might see like a Christmas hand soap video and possibly my hand soaps and my single wicks. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But by the time this video comes up, you will know if it's just my three wicks or including in my single wicks. So I have started saving my candle crates because my boyfriend and I are on the hunt. We are desperate for a house. We have gone and looked at so many houses, put offers on houses, but we've had no luck yet, unfortunately. But I did start collecting candle crates, so it's easier for me to transport my collection. We aren't moving far, so it's not that big of a deal. But the candle crates have been a lifesaver, and it was super easy for me to gather up my winter and Christmas scents, and they fit in one, two, three, four, five five candle crates so four of them are full so we have 28 christmas three wicks and winter three wicks so in no particular order i'm just going to start spinning them out we have a ho 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 twisted peppermint this is one that i'm actually warming so before i started youtube i only warmed candles so a lot of my candles are like half warmed like this one actually falls is falling out if you guys can see that so I definitely warm this but this is twisted peppermint this one has notes of cool peppermint sugared snow vanilla buttercream and fresh balsam with a hint of musk so there's our first candle second this was either a candle day purchase or a 75% off purchase maybe but this is cranberry pear bellini maybe this was a candle day purchase I'm not sure but this is fizzy pear nectar sparkling red cranberries and lush apricot this has like that wrapping paper packaging which is super pretty this doesn't like scream christmas to me so this is definitely a scent that you could burn in july and then with twisted peppermint if you have a headache perfect to burn twisted peppermint or warm it next one we have is winter candy apple which i have a ton of and you guys are probably familiar with winter candy apple but if you're not this has notes of candied apples crisp pears and oranges Smells super good. I have a random like Huntington Holmes lid on it, but I burned this one just once, but it's just a good apple scent. This scent you could definitely burn all year round, or at least I can. And then the last one in my first crate, we do have a Christmas cider in this beautiful packaging with the gorgeous Christmas tree lid. Whenever candles come with beautiful lids like this, I always save them. But this one has notes of mold cinnamon, crushed clove, creamy nutmeg, and simmering cider. This is definitely a Christmas candle or fall candle because it's super spicy, super good spicy scent. And I cannot wait to burn this this Christmas season. So it was my first little candle crate. Moving on to crate number two, I have a peppermint sugar cookie. Oh my gosh, this one also has a really pretty lid. But here is a peppermint sugar cookie, one of my faves. This is crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. It literally just smells like a peppermint sugar cookie. I don't know if you guys noticed, I think the wax used to be like up to there and it's like disintegrated. I don't know, cause you can see the line right here, but now it's down here, so weird. I've noticed my, a couple of my candles do that. 
Um, the next one we have is Snowflakes and Citrus. Again, with that cute snowflake lid. This is Juicy Tangerine, Airy, Airy Beach Grass, and Sweet Orange Blossom and Amber. This is 100% a scent you could burn all year round. So if I wanted to light this up right now, I definitely could. It is definitely just a good little citrus fragrance. Moving on, a candle I'm never going to burn again. This is the only thing I have from the Land of Sweets collection in regards to candles. I do have a couple of the bath salts, but in regards to candles, this is the only one I have. This is Santa's Workshop, but this is actually so sugared snickerdoodle. I love this really funky lid. I don't know if this is going to focus. Look at how beautiful this is. I've burned it horribly, but I won't burn it ever again because I love it for the packaging. This is warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. It smells like a cookie, a, a little cinnamon cookie. It's super yummy, but I'll never burn that ever again. The next one we have is Sugar Plum Fairy with the beautiful star lid. This one has notes of sweet sugar plum, candied cranberries, and sugared orange. Another really good fruity scent. It does not have to be Christmas to burn this one. If you want, you can turn it around or put it in a fun candle holder and no one will know that you're burning a Christmas scent. The next one is definitely not a, a non-Christmas burn for me. This is Tree Farm. Again, another really pretty lid. This one has notes of crisp pine needles, warm cider, and spiced apple. This definitely just smells like a tree to me. I don't really get any of the spiced apple. Just this smells like a good pine Christmas tree. Love fresh balsam. And then the last one for that crate is the scent winter i had winter in the pretty white barn packaging the blue packaging and i got so sick of it so unfortunately i'm still kind of sick of this but this is white woods pine needle sparkling clementine and spiced clove it's it's fine but i'm just like over it at this point i do like that this candle has like the little see-through part so when you're burning it it's like a luminary and kind of lights up so that's super fun but that was everything in that second candle crate moving on to the third out of five candle crates right? Three out of five. Did I math wrong? Wait, I might have math wrong. So 18, 24 plus four. No, I do. I think I said I had 28. I do have 28 candles. So just ignore me. Oh my gosh. Chocolate grams. They need to bring this candle back. Oh my goodness. This is so good. This is milk chocolate, graham cracker, caramel swirl, and vanilla extract. Unfortunately, this was one then I had started to warm because I had purchased this before I started burning candles and before I started my YouTube channel. So unfortunate, but I'm excited to start warming this one up again. The next one we have is another winter candy apple with some cute ornaments on the lid. Not going to say the notes since I said those already. Another <laughs> winter candy apple. Um, I always find that one for 75% off and always grab it. Here we have, I think, a candle day purchase. This is Bright Christmas Morning. This is a recent Christmas, like the most recent Christmas. This is Ripe Red Berries, Blood Orange, and Crisp Apple. Again, a super fruity fragrance. No one would even know you're burning a Christmas candle. Oh my gosh, one of my new favorites. I haven't burned it yet, but I'm so excited to burn it this upcoming Christmas. But this is peppermint hot chocolate. It smells just like the name would suggest. Sweet peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. Just smells like a peppermint, a peppermint mocha from Starbucks. So this candle is so good. I hope they bring this back. And then last but not least, in this crate, we have a Tis the Season in an older packaging. This one has notes of rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. And this is one that I was warming. So I'm hoping to finish this one up during this winter, upcoming winter season. So there's that crate. I have my next candle crate on my lap, so it's easier for me to reach for. We have a caramel drizzle. This had to have been a 75% off find because I don't know if I would have paid candle day pricing for this, but this has that like really pretty wallpaper packaging with the star string light lid. This is sugar cane crystals, melted butter, and whisked sweet cream. Unless this was a boyfriend pick, this kind of smells just like a caramel, like a caramel drizzle, a caramel macchiato from Starbucks, but like not a super like car, like a coffee scent. Sorry, it is a caramel scent, like just caramel, like a caramel sweet cream kind of fragrance. Super yummy. Next we have Give Hope peppermint marshmallow i do have a couple of these in my collection this is so good my boyfriend does not like this one but i really like this one this is crushed peppermint fluffy marshmallows and powdered sugar i don't know something about this this just smells super good to me again 
do you see the difference like you can see the remnants of where it used to be up here and it has like um gone down a little bit i keep my candles in a very cool like dark environment so i i don't know why they go down like that maybe that just happens over time but i know you're supposed to store candles like in a basement or like a very cool um cool environment that doesn't get sun which is my bedroom um i don't have my window open very often so they're never in sunlight so that's weird but i noticed that with a couple of my candles but oh well we have another winter candy apple what the heck I'll never need to buy Winter Candy Apple again. I think I have four of them or three of them. We have Mary Cookie. I bought this because it was so cheap at the outlet. I kind of regret it, but oh well. This is Fresh Baked Cookie Sparkling Sugar Crystals in Rich Vanilla. Again, just a cookie scent. Maybe this would be good in the kitchen when I have my own house. Then we have a Falling Floors with a beautiful snowflake lid. This one has set notes of Frozen Thyme, Fresh Eucalyptus, Ripe Pear, and Sandalwood. I just like a good eucalyptus scent. I really like this one. Super yummy. And then last but not least in this crate, we have a cinnamon caramel swirl. Which my boyfriend bought this one or it was his suggestion to buy it at the outlet, something like that. This is gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, and maple brown sugar. This smells super good. Super good. Honestly, it kind of smells like this caramel drizzle candle, but this one's a little bit more spicy like a cinnamon roll. So there are those six. We're almost done. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love going through my collection. You know how many times off camera I go through my candle collection and just smell all my scents or make my boyfriend smell all my candles? He's probably sick and tired of it, but he's a good sport every time I pull out my candles and I want him to smell them. So last but certainly not least, six more candles. Okay, let's see what I got in my little crate down here. We have another winter candy apple. Oh my goodness. They just all smell so good. This one's probably my favorite packaging of the winter candy apple. So we have that one again. We have a gingerbread marshmallow. This one is amazing. Super cute snowflake. This is gingerbread spice, eggnog, spiced rum, and vanilla frosting and brown sugar. Super yummy. I did start to burn this last Christmas season. So I'm excited to start burning that again. Then we have a second of Give Hope um peppermint marshmallow i think i forgot to read for a second or forgot how to read i have a third one oops okay well there's a third one and then i have a give it cheer strawberry sparkler from that same collection again you can really tell where the candles kind of evaporated out of it um this is strawberry prosecco splash of rose water and vanilla bean this is a candle i could light up right now honestly i might light this one today actually i'm kind of feeling on the strawberry sparkler and then last but certainly not least we have another peppermint hot chocolate so if you can't tell what my favorite christmas scents are i like the peppermint hot chocolate the give hope peppermint marshmallow as well as winter candy apple but i hope you guys enjoyed the first video of my christmas in july kind of series again wednesday will be my fine fragrance miss you guys will see me in the same outfit i'm recording all three videos in one day so i can have them pre-filmed and uploaded and edited like a week in advance because it does always take me a little while to get these collection videos because I have to get them all out of my room and organize them and then bring them into my filming room and get nice and organized. So it does take me a little while. So that's why I like to film these really far in advance. But that is all for today's video and my Christmas three wick collection. Stay tuned for the rest of the week to see what other Christmas goodies I decide to show you guys. And if you like this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite Christmas candles are. Let me know if you're excited for Christmas. And if you like seeing my face, Disney or Beth Modiorks content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you. It helps me so, so much. And you guys can always change your mind later. Thanks again, you guys, for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!